Okay, so. And now we have it. Oh, that's it. That's all you do. And, and we uh, gotta go before the cop shows. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome, my dear friends. We are in Los Angeles. You got the invitation, you got the right address. There's a lot to talk about. The reasons why I'm in California, there's so much happening right now, and I can't wait to take you guys along for the day. Also, what's up with the rain? I literally came to California to film all these skaters I've been super excited about. In the next three weeks, we're going to be all super impactful. But the next six days, it's supposed to rain here. What is going on? Also, I got a response from Daywon Song on Instagram because I posted this spot where he did a nose blunt to fakie. Roll the clip. And I mentioned that on my Instagram story, and he replied. So we're finally in conversation. I think he's just really nice and good at responding. This sucks so bad, but I will report back to you. I actually filmed a video before this, just in case it started raining and I couldn't skate, but it's about how to remove skate stoppers, so. Here are some ways to remove skate stoppers. They are the angled ones with just a bolt on both sides. You can saw it. It takes a hell of a long time, but you just saw it in half and then jiggle it forever until the bolt comes out. <sighs> What's up? Now you just grind this down. Make sure the coast is clear. Yes, a hacksaw can cut a skate stopper from a rail. Be prepared for the consequences, though. I'm gonna cut the kink off the university rail tonight. I need your guys' help. I am down! We got to cut it! You fucking did it, dude! Yeah, I like that attitude. It's just getting right, cut right, tonight! Guys, like, oh, seriously! Yeah, we're gonna cut it tonight! <laughs> We did the wrong. Man, what the, what the how fuck, fuck, dude? What did we do last night? For this, chances are you still need a mallet, a hammer or crowbar, turpentine if they've set in with resin. Place the crowbar or sharp end of the hammer under the part of the stopper which rests on top of the ledge. Once you have a fair bit of the tool wedged in, apply pressure. To get the stopper that final bit of lift, hit the end a few times with a mallet to give it that extra bit of jolt that will lift it out. Once removed, stoppers can easily be put back into place and removed whenever, so make sure you replace the stopper or you can get arrested for criminal damage. Just notify your local shop skaters when you've liberated a spot so that they can skate it too. Well, you can still get arrested even if you replace it. Just removing it in general, you can get arrested, but... That's the risk. Wow. Proper. Yeah. If you can make a spot skatable and then fix it afterwards, do that. Help us all out. They'll never know you were even there. Turpentine will sort it out. Okay, turpentine. Consistency. My friend's older brother and his friends used to take his dad's plasma cutter and cut right through them. I know those things are ridiculously expensive though. I've never tried it, but I'm sure a crowbar and some elbow grease works just fine. Blowtorch, crowbar, and a rubber mallet. Hacksaws, crowbars, rocks, whatever works, good luck, rocks. I think they're saying that using something to hit the knob will sometimes remove it which has worked before. Not that I've ever tried that. Don't arrest me. Hit it once on this side, bam. Hit it once on this side, a bing. And check it out. Ugh. Now let's actually take a look at skate stoppers, see what's going on with the website, see what their main intention is, which I know is to stop skating, obviously. Why skate stoppers? Each year, millions of skateboarders, rollerbladers, and bikers take to the streets in search of the best places to skate and ride. Even with the rapid growth, they spelled growth wrong. How is that possible? Groth. Of skate park facilities nationa nationally, your property has become a practice ground for disruptive and destructive activity. What is deemed by skaters and bikers as creative expression is costing you money. In their aftermath, they leave black stained, broken, and worn concrete, and you're lucky if that is all. Sometimes there's dead bodies. I've seen it. I've killed people. You are left facing the daunting task of cleanup, repair, and replacement. Don't spend another dollar in cleanup or repair, and don't start another construction project soon as to be, soon to be an unofficial skate park <laughs> until you have contacted us, Skate Stoppers. There's rumor that skate stoppers were started by a skateboarder. I don't know if I could possibly believe that, but there's rumor. They have the FAFR series. So some of these really lock into the ledge. They have aluminum, which you can't grind past. Like any of these, if you put on a ledge, you cannot grind past it. And then they have some other ones, the architectural series, which is cool, but people can grind through those. It 
makes all the sense in the world. There's no reason to question it. But I do think, I strongly believe this, that people think that skateboards do a lot more damage than they do. It's very rare when the concrete actually chips and breaks away from a skateboard. They're not as powerful as people think. But an actual skateboard is light. The trucks are made out of aluminum. They don't really cause much damage. It's, it's wooden planks, so it'd be like taking a wooden plank and just hitting a concrete ledge over and over. It would never chip it. Ready, Freddy? Yeah, you ready? Well, I was supposed to come in and say you're ready, so you said it first, kind of ruined it, but oh. you ready? You gotta warn me. I have to get picture camera ready. AKA showing off your merch. <laughs> I'm ready. It's so weird because I totally don't feel like I'm in California because it's cold and rainy. The reason we're in California and I will be making a whole entire video about this is because I actually have been filming a show for the last four weeks, which is really random. I'm not an actor, it's sort of a documentary-esque thing and nobody really has any idea. I traveled across America for this company and it was an insane experience and I had to keep a lot of it hush-hush. And that happened in December, so I kind of was off my A game in December. That's why right now I'm going so heavy on putting out so much content and doing so much stuff is because now I have the time. I'm so happy to be in California, even though New York feels like my home now, but in January I filmed all these videos for Tropolis and I got this new idea of how to make these documentary S type videos and I realized that I need to utilize those talents and put it in talents. So I have all these friends and all these people in skateboarding, some of the best skateboarders in the world who want to be a part of this thing we're doing. So right now we're making videos for people and also the Instagram is kind of going crazy. I didn't really expect it to be blowing up like it is, but we've been posting posting a ton on it and I think it's just the right content at the right time, it's working. So if you aren't following it, I upload like four to seven pieces of content to it every single day, unique content, controversial, like crazy random stuff. I'm gonna work the rest of the night, but tomorrow I'm meeting up with Jeff Wansong, Dale Decker, Dan Corrigan, and my new friend, Mr. X Nigeria. Such an insane skateboarder, so I'm super privileged to be able to work with him, but I have so many things lined up in California, so many skateboarders to meet up with, so if the rain can just hold off for a little bit, this trip is going to be so entirely productive and all my new trying to get content with other people is going to change yeah. the game. One last thing I wanna say that you guys could be a part of if you want, if you think you have the idea, is that I am trying to acquire maybe some shows. So if you're someone out there in skateboarding who has an idea or has a crew of people or you create content and you think that it should be seen by more people, hit me up, holler at me. You can hit me up at planetmelee at gmail.com. I might wanna put a new show on this channel. I just wanna show the best skating, but it has to be something that you've already filmed a sample of. So if you have vlogs or videos of you and your friends skating, let me know or you can craft the idea and then show me a sample because if I don't see any work, it's gonna be hard for me to get the vision. Or if you wanna start working on something now and then send it my way and say, do you think this would work? That would be cool too. So you can spend the next week or so building some content. It can have a home on this channel. And if it's a good enough piece of content, a good enough series, I definitely would be willing to pay people out there to do it. Also, this video is super random, I understand, but tune in tomorrow and every single day this week for a new video because right now I'll be uploading every single weekday because of all the content we'll be getting. So every week, Day, every day, come back, say what's up, holler at me, subscribe, like the video, check out Planet Melee, all the good stuff. I'll see you guys later. Love you so much for Grass Daily and keep going! Guys!